Hi everyone, joining me is Lisa Lazarus, the HISA Chief Executive Officer. Now Lisa, this is a monumentous day for the racing industry. Tell me about the significance of today for the horse racing industry. Today is a really massive day. Um, today, uh, about an hour or so ago, the Federal Trade Commission approved HISA's anti doping medication control rules. So for the very first time, American horse racing will have a national uniform anti-doping program. That is so exciting. Now, what changes are coming into effect today that will affect horsemen and women at tracks like parks? So first of all, you'll see that when you go into the test barn today, if your horse is selected for testing, um, it'll actually be a paperless collection system. So it'll be essentially the test collector will have an iPad with the race card preloaded. The horse will be selected. And ultimately, the trainer, the responsible person, will receive an email that catalogs the chain of custody, et cetera. It will all be automated. Um, the other kind of important things are all of the laboratories are going to be essentially harmonized, testing for the same things at the same levels. We're going to have kind of quick and efficient um, adjudication processes, which is obviously not for today, but, but somehow down the road. And, um, and really, everything is going to look and feel the same across the country. Now, for the fans and the horse players, what will be different for them in this program? So for them, what they will know is that any horse that's tested in Pennsylvania will have the same analysis done, the same process as a horse that's tested in Kentucky, in New York, in Ohio, anywhere where HISA has authority um, over, over, over those jurisdictions. So that will be the same and that will, I think, I think provide a consistency um, and essentially a foundation that will be make, make that consistency sort of better and helpful for the, for the betters. Yeah. Now looking ahead to the future, what does success look like and what are the long and short term goals for the, the ADMC programs? So I think what success looks like is ultimately a recognition by the industry that this is good for horse racing. You know, that having a national uniform program with the same standards is something that horsemen can embrace. And I hope that over time there is a, a trust essentially that's built and that it's accepted and recognized as being something that's really important to take the industry forward. Um, and, and ultimately, I think also a professionalization of the process. You know, having one national regulator takes, takes a lot of the subjectivity out of the process, puts it in sort of one objective, um, you know, hands and one objective organization to essentially make sure that everyone's being treated the same. Well, I know you have a very busy day ahead of you. Lisa, welcome to Parks. We're so glad Thank to you. have you today. And onward to the future here. Thank you.